What is up guys? Today is going to be a bit lower quality because I'm doing this through OBS. I'm trying to see if this is going to make it a much easier editing situation. And yeah, I'm going to be a, a little bit low energy today. I I just got home from an hour gig for a summer camp. The kids were awesome. Thank you so much, guys. And I completely forgot that I was commissioned to do this gig. It was the day I was going to my honeymoon. It completely slips my mind. Uh, until I come back and the only day I could work on it was yesterday. So I spent all yesterday just working on the show. But I think I did a pretty good job. I had fun. They had fun. But yes, let's get into uh, Hollywood completely imploding on itself. Now that they have a writer strike and in the last couple days they now have an actor strike. And me and a few other people, they, we, we just don't care. <laughs> does, does anyone really care? The garbage that we have been we had to put up with the past like what five six years just awful content um in the last like three years has been really really terrible everything has been a complete rehash of something else so a lot of these actors and writers they're not even writing their own material or even it's not even it's not even original and honestly there really hasn't been anything like extremely noteworthy in the past like two or three years where it was just like everyone's like you need to watch this not really a massive cultural phenomenon other than i'm not even gonna include like the covid stuff because there are a lot of things that popped off with covid because everyone was locked in home so like tiger king popped off and stuff the only thing i could think of is house of the dragon which i have never watched and better call saul which actually i think surpassed Breaking Bad as a better show. Funny enough, those are both prequel spin-off shows that also were popularized in the early 2010s, which is funny enough. Now, I wanted to get into brass tacks. I wanted to take a look at this new Snow White photo because I was driving, I was getting in my car, leaving the gig, and I saw a photo. It was Ryan Kennel posted a video, and I was just like, man, dude, I have to, yeah, I gotta talk about this. Now, I am on Twitter here, and this this is Snow White, and I believe these are the seven dwarves here, or the one out of seven. Uh, you could already see, oh man, uh, <laughs> first things first, they have a Snow White who isn't white, to they have... <laughs> they have seven dwarves, which only one out of all of them are is an actual legitimate dwarf. And I know they're not going to go in and CG all these guys because they would actually have real dwarves and then replace their faces, which would be even more disrespectful. I don't know why they wouldn't just get dwarves. Oh, it's stereotyping and typecasting. But you guys would constantly race swap black people for sloppy seconds. You'll do that incessantly but get an actual dwarf to do a job of a dwarf no that's that's just too much it's offensive and tokenize number one tokenize number two and tokenize number three bro and they're not even aren't all the dwarves in the original movie like old like they all have like white beards uh i haven't seen snow white since i was very 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 young and i am just i'm running off the uh fuel of like yeah bro i've not seen this in like 20 years i'm just going through twitter people are just like what what is this bro what is this it looks so bad and the one thing i gotta say about her outfit it it, it doesn't even scream snow white i know because she has this whole hood on it screams red riding hood that's the first thing that I, my eyes go to is the Red Riding Hood. It doesn't even look like her. Oh, man. Now, the other thing with her costume is that, okay, you have this big <laughs> red sheet right here, the Red Riding Hood look. But why, it looks like a really cheap costume that you get at Party City. This is exactly <laughs> what it looks like. All of these look really, really, really cheap. There's no grid or anything to it and it's just i i have no idea what i'm looking at if i showed you the image of this this looks like a group of friends going to a halloween party and they just they just 
had that one friend that was a dwarf that said, okay, yeah, I'll actually come up and dress with you guys. That's all I'm getting from this. It's just, it just does not scream anything. Uh, Red Riding Hood, uh, uh, Snow White, see, now I'm starting to call her that. See, Bambi right there. <laughs> yeah, the Bambi meme. Now, I wanted to take a look at actual cosplayers doing this because they have way more dedication than the actual studios. They don't care. You see those new Wolverine photos with Deadpool? Also, I, are you guys really going to go see that film? Because one, he said he finished making that he's finished making Wolverine. And I know they're doing this for the fans and they come back and they're doing the original costume. You should have did that 20 years ago. And plus, it's still Disney. I'm not going to go watch it. I didn't watch Into the Spider-Verse. I didn't watch anything in the last two years. The last thing I saw from Disney was Spider-Man uh, Far From Home. And there's still people going out there trying to watch The Flash and everything. Stop watching these movies. Stop. <laughs> See, I'm, this cosplay, this already looks better. The design right here. I don't know who this is. I literally just went into Instagram and typed in uh, Snow White cosplay. Not too bad. It looks like Snow White with the little bow there. I don't know why it exited out. This one here looks, uh, looks pretty similar. Actually, I really don't like how plastic and rubbery that, yeah, latex, it, it looks very, that does not look comfortable. Honestly, that looks better. That even looks pretty good. Like if you're going to go for a more realistic look, that actually looks pretty cool. Uh, but it doesn't have the same color palette and stuff like that. That looks pretty cool. That's like a whole prince. It looks, actually looks more like a, a queen type outfit. But you could actually see here, even this dude actually put a, a lot more effort into it. God, who's gonna play the uh, the witch in this movie? Oh God, I'm kind of I kind of want to see who who is gonna do it. But yeah, there's actually a lot more effort by people on the internet doing it for fun. Actually, they probably get a little bit of money from doing it too. But they get way more effort. They put in way more effort than these studios with like millions upon millions upon millions of dollars. See, even this black chick looks better. Even hers look better than the actual tokenized. This tokenized version looks better than this tokenized version. How do you do that, Disney? How do you, how does that even happen? Okay, I gotta exit out before it gets a little too risque. And you guys see how cheap that production looked? And we all know it's because they no longer have any more money. They have lost billions upon billions of dollars. If not billions and upwards of hundreds of millions, because they spent way too much on these massively big budget MCU movies that be coming out bombing or not even surpassing the number that they wanted because they keep doing the same thing. Keep doubling down on tokenism, doubling down on hating the fans, doubling down on just destroying people's childhood. They have nothing else left. Indiana Jones was the last Lucas film project that they had and they destroyed it like every single thing else mcu they killed off all of the characters that they actually like the only ones what is it doctor strange is spider-man i don't think anyone really cares about anyone else maybe roadie i don't i don't i honestly don't know but yeah man it is it is sad out there for disney i don't feel bad you shouldn't feel bad also please stop your addiction stop going to watch a nut stop saying you're boycotting this company and then going off and watching their movies in the theater and just justifying it by saying that you don't have disney plus stop you're still funding them this is a message to tim pool stop doing that dude i still love your channel but just stop just stop <laughs> all right guys that's really it i'll see you guys next time peace